so this is the heading subheading this is the box you can click and you can upload the images you can simply update the data you can type the website if you have you can give the description simply copy and paste here you can see the data is here now you can simply select the category so sports if you want to select this art you can see art if you want to provide a royalty some type of discount you can do that here you can provide this size you can provide this properties so all the data is updating dynamically and all we have to do is to simply pass this data into the smart contract and the nft is ready okay all of you hope you guys are great and welcome back to this full stack nft marketplace project video so in the last video we had built our account page in this video we're going to build the nft upload page okay so i have opened the project in my code editor make sure you do that then we can easily able to work on it okay so here in my code editor let's click on this page and we have to create the page so we'll call it upload nft.js and we'll type rafce simply close this one come here and we have to create the css file for this so upload nft modules.css here we have the css file now we have to create one folder in the main directory okay in that we're going to keep all the component for this nft upload okay so we'll create a folder and we'll call it upload nft in that we're going to create one more folder and this will call drop zone okay drop zone and in that we're going to create the for file drop zone.jsx and we have to create the css file for this as well so let's create that drop down module.css so this is the one component we have simply let's do the internal import our css file and that's coming from the same directory so here we have the drop zone and we have to create one more component so let's come here and that's we're going to do in the upload nft okay so we'll click on that and we'll create a new folder and this will call let's say let's call it actually we're not going to create a folder it's a component itself so we'll create in the same folder okay so we'll create this file upload nft.jsx and in that we're going to create the css file for this as well modules.css let's type rafce and we have to do the internal import we have to import the css file and that's coming from the same directory okay so here we have the css file let's close all this and simply close this folder and close this drop zone as well and what we have to do is come back to this pages and here you can see we have to simply replace this select this on change this to upload nft and make sure you have to type in a lower case because the component we're going to import here that would going to be in uppercase but it will have the same name okay so that's let's do the internal import we have to import the css file so that's coming from the same style folder and we have this css file now let's come here and let's click on this and now we have to create a file in that we're going to import all these component okay so let's create that file so we'll call it upload nft index.js and in that we're going to imp import the component so we import the drop zone and that's coming from the same directory and we have to import the let's say upload nft component and that's in the main directory root folder okay and now we have to simply export that both the component so we can use them in in our upload nft page okay so let's close that one and we can come here and we can upload that so we'll upload the upload nft and that's coming from the let's say dot dot slash upload slash upload index okay so here we have the upload component upload component we have now simply remove that and let's start working on the jsx okay so first thing we're going to do is to take the div and it will have a class called style dot upload nft and that we're going to have another div it will have a class called style upload dash box and that will have another div it will have a class called style upload box dash heading okay and that we're going to take this h1 and it will have the heading creator create new nft and down below we'll have a p tag and let's come back to the application and simply copy this text and paste here okay so this is the paragraph we have now let's come down come down and we'll have another div it will have a class called style dot upload box and this will call title 
in that we're going to take this h2 and we'll have this h2 heading simply copy this one and paste here we have to take the paragraph as well copy and simply come back and paste so that's the second heading we have okay now what we can do let's simply come down and we have to take another div and it will have a class called style dot box and this will call form so this will hold the forms okay so in that what we have to do is we're going to call this upload nft component okay so this is the component we're going to call in that so here we have to call it in uppercase because we are importing and exporting in uppercase so make sure you do this change and simply copy and do it here and if we come here and have a look is it an uppercase yes it's in uppercase so simply copy that come back here and simply change that okay so that's the so that's the upload nft that's what we have here now let's simply open up your terminal and start the application to have a look so type npm run dev and just wait and bring this down okay let's come here and before we do that before we check let's come back to this component and we have to change the router so go back to the navigation okay nav bar where it is there are so many folder okay that's why it's very important that you have a better folder structure when you're working in a application like this okay so right now we have this full navigation folder so it becomes very easy to navigate okay so let's open that folder simply open the folder and we have to go into the discover section and here we have that so here we have this upload nft so the name is right okay and that's the name we have given to the pages okay so close this one and look have a look this is what we have called upload nft okay simply rename this okay type upload nft okay save it and that's looking good now simply close this one and now come back to the application and here we have that click on this and click on this upload nft and just wait and here we are on upload nft page you can see all the data we have passed that's here so we have the title we have the second titles and the paragraph so everything's working fine now let's come back to the code and simply scroll down and scroll down and let's close this one and go back to the upload component quick okay, close this one and close this entire component and here we have to come upload nft and now we can start working on this okay let's we have to import a couple of things from react use state and we have to import the icons outline http and that's coming from react icon md and we have to import one more outline attach file we have to import one more fa percentage and that's coming from react fa we have to import let's say ai to property safety and that's coming from the ai okay now we have to import the let's say tick icon and that's coming from ti and now we have to import the image tags from next.js okay so these are the icons we have here let's let's come here and here you can see in the account we have this form and that's the form we're going to use here in this component okay so we're going to use the css file we're going to import the css file and we're going to some copy and paste some of the components some of the input component okay so that's the thing we're going to import here okay so let's close this one and we have to import the form css style okay so this is the name i have given to the form style okay form style and this is style is for the nft okay we don't get confused so that's coming from the account form module CS. Okay, so that's the external and internal import we have. Now we have to import the images, all the images, and that's coming from the image folder. Okay, we have to import the let's say button component, and that's coming from the let's say component. Okay, in the component section, we are getting from component index. Okay, and here we have to import the drop zone, and that's coming from the drop zone NFT. Okay, from the index folder okay so that's what all the external internal import we have here and now we can start working on the actual jsx part but before we do that we have to take a use state and this will call active initial would be zero and we, this will become active name string and this will become website this will become description this will become royalties this will become let's say file size and this will become let's say category okay so these are the internal external and use state we have here okay so everything's looking fine and I, we have to take one more category array because we have to loop over it all together i want to display five category okay 
so let's have a data for that so we'll take an array and it will have this object so we'll have the image and we'll have the name okay so let's do one thing simply images we have to get the image nft1 and we'll call it category let's say um, sports okay right now i'm going with this hard code value but later when we'll get the data and when we actually def define that what are the data what are the categories of nft will allow user to upload on that time we're going to do this modification but right now i'm just going with this hard code value okay and that's what we have here now let's simply replicate it and change this to art change this to let's say music and this will become digital and this will become two and this will become time let's repeat one more time and this will become photography okay this three images so all the data we have so simply close this one and let's come down and here now we can start working on the jsx part actually okay so let's zoom a bit let's we have a div and it will have a class called style dot upload okay and that will have a uh, this drop zone and in this we're going to send all the props all the props okay so that's props we have here first props will send the title okay so the title we call it something like what are the file will accept from the user to upload in our application so the file format we have to define so jpg png we will go with this webm and max width is going to be 100 mb okay so that's the first title we have now we have to let's take a heading and this will have drag and drop file we'll have a subheading as well and this will call let's say the reason why i'm using this drop zone as a reusable component because we can use it in multiple places or you can do this value hard code but i don't want to go with any hard code value i want to make the component as reusable as possible so we can use in different application or in this application okay so we'll have a subheading uh we'll call browse media on your device okay these are the title components subtitles and now we have to send the actual data first we'll send the name of the nft we'll send the website url then we have to send the descriptions of the nft then we have to send the royalties and royalties we have then we have the file size now we have the category and let's have the final thing is the image okay so we'll have this upload image so these are the props we are sending in the drop zone okay that's all we have here now so let's come down we'll have a div and we'll have a style tag and we'll call it upload box in that we want to do is we're going to use that form component okay so we'll come here and we'll go to this our account page and we'll go to this form okay here we are in the form jsx and now we're going to import a couple of things from here so we're going to simply copy and paste so let's open this one and this one is a username so we need this one simply copy and come back to this and simply paste here okay so that's the one import we have and what we have to do is simply we have to change this name to let's say item name and we have to call it let's say nft okay this is the first thing we have and it will have a on change function because when someone will type anything we want to get the data and update into our state variable okay so it will have this set item name and in that we're going to use this e dot target in that we're going to pass the value okay so here we have to take the e okay so when someone will click on type anything in the input we can easily able to update that a name in the state okay so that's the input we have now let's close this one and come back once again to the form and this time we are looking for let's say open this one this time we are looking for the website okay simply copy this one and come back here and simply paste down below and here what we're going to do is simply open this one and simply copy this and simply paste right here okay and the same thing we have to pass the data so that's the website components simply close this one and close this one close this one now come down and in this and this website will have a p okay so in down below we'll have another class and here it will have a upload box input para okay so we'll come down to the applications and this is the text we want to simply copy and simply paste here okay so that's the paragraph we have that's looking good now let's come down let's come back to the forms once more time and here we're going to need the description so okay come back and simply paste here okay so this is the description component we have copied 
and that's what we have okay so this is the website section we have and um, simply cut this one okay simply cut this one and wrap this here okay and what we have to do is simply cut this portion and bring all the way down okay here okay so it's looking perfect so make sure you do this fix okay so it's, things are looking good now down below we'll have a p tag and we're going to display the text so simply copy this p tag and paste here so that's what we have here now let's come down and here we're going to take a div and we'll take a style tag we'll call it form style because this time we are going to use that form okay form style okay so it will say form and the name is dash box input and copy that and we have to change all the field we have copy and paste here with this form okay so that's the one we have simply copy this and change this one okay and now we have to change this style okay so simply copy this portion that's what we have and simply come here and replace this one as well and replace this one as well so whatever we have imported from the form component make sure we have to replace that with this form style okay and that's the name we have given on top when we have importing that CSS file okay so simply change this one and change this one and not that so this is okay and here we have to do the changes so that's the form one this is the form and this is also a form change this one both one and let's see where else we have no this is not one and that's what we have and this is what we have so simply bring this down and we'll take a label and we'll call it let's say name in that we're going to give this message so choose collection okay we'll come down in that we're going to have the para it will have a class called style dot upload box into paragraph and here we're going to copy the text copy and simply come back here so that's what we have so you can easily able to find the difference when we are importing the component from the form component we are applying the styling from the form style okay but when we are writing any custom jsx we're using this style okay and we are giving the different relevant name okay so that will make the difference okay so make sure you follow the same pattern so that's what we have let's simply come down we'll have the div and it will have a class called style dot upload box slider and div and in that we're going to have this dynamic data we'll call category area we have the data and we're going to map over it and it's going to be an insert return and in that we're going to have a div and let's say it will have a class called style dot let's say it's going to be a template literal okay we're going to have two type of styling one is the normal styling and the other one is going to be active styling so when someone will select that particular category we want to display different styling or we want to change the background color simply okay that's why we're going with this dynamic styling so we'll call it let's say let's call it upload box slider and this will become active we have already taken this active state use state and we'll say i plus one is this then we have to add this active class otherwise it's going to be an empty and make sure you copy and simply paste here okay so now looking fine so this is the normal and this is the active one okay so save it and let's come down we have to assign a key as well so i plus one and it will have the on click function so on the on click function we want to first do something okay we're going to set the active state okay i plus one and we want to call this function as well so set category okay that's the data we want to update so we'll say e dot category okay and that we have the category so simply save it and let's bring down and we have to take a class and it will call let's say upload box slider dash box and in that we're going to let's say have another div will have a class called style upload box slider box dash image and that we're going to have the image so we'll have an image inside this image dot not that lm element dot image okay so we have to provide the alt tags so background image 
we have to assign the width to 70 height is going to be 70 and we have to assign a class as well so upload box slider box image image so that's what we're going to call it dash image okay so that's the data we have okay now let's come down and we'll have another div it will have a class called style box slider and box dash image and this will call icon and that we're going to have this tick icon okay so that's the icon we have down below we're going to take this paragraph and here we're going to call it okay crypto legend and let's come here simply copy the text from here and copy and simply paste here so that's looking perfect okay this is the dynamic block we have now we can come down and before we come let's come here in the form section and we need a couple of things from here so this is the social box simply close this one and copy this entire box and that's the one we need form box input social copy and come here and we're going to paste right down here okay that's all the component we need and now simply open this and now we have to do the changes couple of changes we have to do so simply change this royalty a and simply copy and paste and here we have to change the icon to fa percentage and this will become let's say 20 percent and it will also have an on click function so we'll say set royalty let's come here what do we have called here we have called here set royalties so let's come down and here we're going to pass that okay e dot target dot value okay and then that we have to pass this e so things are looking good now let's come down do with the same with the twitter we'll say size and we have to change this to let's say set file size and this is going to be let's say 165 mb is allowed and here we're going to say the properties and paste your properties and this is also going to be let's say mm, initially what we should type mm. simply copy that and paste the properties as well and it will also have this on chain simply paste here and we have to change this to set properties actually we don't have that okay so we don't have let's come up here and we have to create another use state so that's what we're going to do now so let's come here we'll take a another use state and use state and this will call properties initially it would be empty string simply copy and bring it down and now we have to call that okay so things are looking good okay and things are fine now close this one okay this one this one things are looking good close this one and let's come down we're going to have another div it will have a class called style dot upload box button and that we're going to have this button okay and that we have to send this prop so the name of the button is going to be upload and we have to have this handle click function and it will have this custom class style and thus we'll call it style dot button okay style button sorry upload box button style okay so that's the burden we have and that's all the component we have so things are looking good let's have a look final time mm. and we're missing something i guess so let's copy this one and simply that's what we have to pass here in the description as well so simply paste here and we have to change this to let's say description copy that one and here we have this twice okay so we have to call this set website okay so now we have updating all the use state and here is the property we have okay simply copy that and we have to send that in a drop zone so simply bring it down and we have to send the props okay so send it properties so here you can see here we are getting an error and that's obviously because we are we, you are trying to import the twitter icon but we don't have it reload the browser and you will find that this error is true okay simply come down and here we're going to simply what we have to do is here we have to remove this icon okay twitter account twitter icon and simply copy this file size and simply come back to the twitter and change this tag now we have to reload what else we have again we have this error instagrams come up here and simply copy this one and bring all the way down and simply change this one okay so that's what we have so far and here you can see so here we have the function problem okay i that was my problem we have to wrap that 
component so here we have to do is simply remove this one and we have to write this on click function it's gonna be a narrow function so and we'll wrap this function and we'll call it now okay set active i plus one and we have to call the second function is category element so when we want to call the two function in one click event then this is how you have to call it you have to wrap that both the function in a bracket like this then you can easily be able to add as many function as you want okay so make sure you do that and save it and if you come back to the browser and you can see everything's working fine we have this already styled description website and items okay it's already styled and here we have the collections we are rendering and this is the royalties okay this is a small fix we have to do so things are looking good now let's come back here and simply these are the imports we have these are the use states simply close this one and close this one close this one and close this close this one close this one and close this one so these are the components we have worked on now simply close this one and come back here and come to this this drop zone and now we can start working on this drop zone okay now we have to simply receive the props which we have said so let's open this one and we have to Im import it one by one so title heading then we have item name subheading sorry and then we have the item name website description royalties file size category properties and the final one is the image okay so these are the all props we are receiving in the drop zone working fine now we can now we have to import couple of things from react use state and we need use memo use callback and use context and now we have to import the let's say use drop zone package we have to import the image from next.js we have to do a couple of internal imports first is the images so that's coming from the image folder now these are the external internal import we have now let's come down and now we're going to take a couple of states so first it would be let's say uh, file URL and initially it would be null so that's the null and we can come down we can have this on drop zone we have to create one function on drop this is not new we have already created this function in the account page okay so i'll go a little faster here. so we'll have this use callback and it's gonna be an async function okay and it will receive the file so accepted file and gonna be an error function will say set url to accepted file zero so the, so the first file and down below we'll have this we have to import couple of things from the drop zone so the first one is going to be the get get root props and that's coming from the use drop zone and that we have to send a couple of properties so the first property is going to be the function we have created on top on drop and here we have to define the file size that what are the files we want to accept so we want all type of image and we want to define a specific size size of the file so the maximum is going to be this is the convention one five and six zero okay and we have to import one more is going to be a get input props and here i made a spelling mistake simply remove this r to t so these are the two props we are getting from use drop zone okay so that's the function simple function we have here and now we can start actually working on our jsx so simply remove this one and we're going to take this div it will have a class called style and drop zone and that will have another div it will have a class called style drop zone dash let's say box and it will have this props the props we have created get root props okay that's the props we're going to call it here and we'll have this input and in this we're going to call the prop as well so we'll have this get input props okay so that's the one two props we are passing down below we'll have this div and it will have a class called style drop zone dash box okay here i have to provide this box and this one is going to be called image sorry input okay input and in that we're going to take this title and down below we're going to have another div it will have the class called style dot 
box.image okay and that we're going to have the images so we have to display the image which we are receiving from the props and that's in this image and we have to assign the alt tag and the alt tag will call it upload and it will have a width to let's say 100 height is going to be 100 okay so these are the data we are passing it's going to be this class also so we have to assign the class drop zone box input image image okay so these are the data we are passing we come down we'll have another p tag and it will have the data so it will have the heading it will have the subheading okay so these are the props we are targeting receiving sorry okay Dis sorry displaying sorry okay we'll come down and we'll have this dynamic data and this dynamic block we are creating to display the data which user are filling for the nft okay so once we get the data once we get the image then we want to display this dynamic component okay which will make sense so just follow along with me so we'll say if there is a file url image is if there is an image then we want to simply render this component we'll have a div not a div we'll have a, a side element html element it will have a class called style dot drop zone box aside and that we're going to have a div it will have a class called style drop zone box aside dash box and that we're going to have a image tag and with the image we want to display is for the time being i'm doing hard code because the drop zone we have created it's not working so the drop zone will work in such way because what i will do when we actually allow the user to upload the image to through this drop zone we're going to connect with this ipfs so first we'll upload that image to the ipfs and then we'll get the url of the ipfs and then we'll display the image okay so that's the entire plan i'm going and this is the approach i'm taking for displaying the image so for the time being i'm just go with the hard code value okay so just give the hard code value and that's and the image is coming from the image folder okay nft one that okay so that's the image we have now we'll provide this alt tag and we'll call it nft image it will have a width to let's say something 200 200 okay and here we can have this object fit on and we can say object to fit to contain now let's come down we'll come down it will have a div it will have a div it will have a class called style drop zone box a side box preview and that we're going to have another div it will have a class called drop zone box a side box preview dash on one and it will have the paragraph and this we're going to display the name okay and here we're going to display the actual name of the nft okay if there is a name then we want to display the name but if there is no name then we want to display this empty string so that's the simple logic nothing new simple javascript so what we can do now um, now simply copy this portion and replicate one more time and we'll change this to website now this will become website we'll simply come down and well let's say we'll have another div if we have a class called style let's say drop zone box a side box preview and this will become two and down below we'll have a let's say paragraph and this will have a span same structure we have to follow descriptions and we have to say if there is a data then we want to display the data otherwise empty string so that's simple logic and we'll come down and we'll have another class another div and we'll have a class called let's go three and and that will have this piece span royalty and this will become the data otherwise empty string and now this time is a little tricky because i want to do a changes i want to give a space a big space for the description but for this royalty a two or one more keywords i want to give provide a little little space okay so what i will do i will simply replicate this okay so replicate this three times and just change this actually four times file size this will become the and file size this will become the properties this will become properties and this will become the category and this will become category so okay so these are the data we are displaying okay so we have all the data and by the way we are getting done with this drop zone okay so let's have a look final time so let's remove this we are not using this one okay so let's remove this one and things are looking good now things are good and here you can see we have this and now it's looking fine okay all the props we are sending that's working absolutely fine but we have some problem with the image our image is not displaying we can see what's the problem okay if you come here and here you can see that let's come back to the code and let's come back here and click on this 
go here and in the in the CSS file and where it is so here so let's start with the CSS style okay so we can target the main page okay so we'll make it side by side and let's start working upload is going to be let's say uh, web is going to be hundred percent and margin block is going to be a tram we'll come down we'll tag that block and width is going to be 65 60 percent and margin zero auto that's how it will look now let's come down we'll target the box heading this will become the border bottom is going to be one pixel solid where and it will have the shadow dark color okay shadow dark color okay that's the color we want to assign to our heading so you can see there is a now let's add the media query and on a max width 35 em we want to provide let's say box is going to be with which is going to be 90 percent so nice wide we'll have to target the heading and paragraph and we'll say width is going to be 100 percent and and let's come here and let's come up here out of the media query and we're going to target that heading h1 and we'll increase the font size to let's say 3.5 ram and line it is going to be 0.1 okay we'll come down we'll target the heading p and we say part of font size is going to be 0.4 ram width is going to be 70 percent and line height is going to be 1.2 ram okay that looks awesome okay now simply come down we have to target the title and we'll say border is going to border bottom is going to be one pixel solid var and it will have our dark color so that, let's reload the page and looking fine we'll target margin top is going to be 4 ram so we'll have some space from the top and here you can see it's looking really good on the larger screen so we have this nice title paragraph and all the details and you can see it's looking perfect on our desktop okay we have to do a little bit of adjustment in the mobile device okay so let's come here and we have to do the adjustment in the mobile device so let's come here and okay let's come here we have to target the title h2 and we have to say font size is going to be 2.5 ram and line it is going to be zero so that both will have on top of each other now we'll target the p and we'll say font size is going to be 1.1 ram and font width is going to be 500 a little smaller okay now target that and simply paste here title h2 and we have to say font size is going to be 1.5 ram on a mobile device and line it is going to be 1 ram okay look good 1.1 that's better now we have to target the heading h1 and we have this font size is going to be 1.6 ram let's make it a little bigger okay two yeah that looks perfect okay so now it's looking good on a mobile device as well looking fine now let's come here and let's have a look you can see it's looking absolutely gorgeous on a larger screen it's absolutely beautiful titles subtitles but we have the problem in the images but if you click on that you can see our this pop-up is opening so this is the title this is one and here things are looking good okay let's do the inspect element and here is also looking good now let's simply close this one come back here and simply go to this and go to this css file and we have to start working on this so simply copy that and we can target that upload so we'll target that upload and we'll say upload box input para and we'll say padding is going to be zero and one ram and we'll come down we'll target this para input box slider dev okay and this will have the border one pixels solid var and it will have our icon color okay looking good now simply scroll down and here you can see we are working on the category section okay so let's target that border radius is going to be one ram padding is going to be one ram cursor pointer and we'll come down we'll have the upload box slider and we want to target that and we want to say simply cut that okay cut that and paste here and in the slider and here we have to say display flex gap one ram so that's how it will look we have to target that slider box and we have to say display is going to be flex align item center and gap is going to be three ram so that looks pretty awesome it's look good on a large screen but we got to make it more responsive so that looks awesome let's come down and we have to target that box slider box image image and we're going to say border radius is going to be 50 percent and 
we have to target that box slider image icon and we'll say background is going to be our icon color and the phone color is going to be let's say our main bg color and we're going to make it to border radius to 50 percent and display is going to be grid and padding is going to be 0.2 ram so that's how it will look now let's come down we're going to target that slider p and we'll say font size is going to be 1.2 ram let's say font width is going to be 700 line height is going to be 1.2 ram little smaller beautiful and come down we're going to target that upload box um upload box and this will become the buttons and we have to say that display is going to be grid great template column repeat to 1fr and let's assign a margin block is going to be 4 ram and cap is going to be 2 ram okay that looks pretty good now we have to target that box btn style so the custom styling color and we'll say width is going to be 100 percent and let's target the display is going to be grid align self center and font size is going to be 1.3 ram okay that looks pretty awesome that's the custom styling we have now we have to target active okay background is going to be our icon color and color is going to be our main bg color okay now we have to start working on the media query so we'll target that max width is going to be 35 em and we'll target the let's say target start with the slider slider div and we'll say display is going to be great great template column repeat 3 1fr and this is how it will look and 3 1fr let's have a look so this is how it will look it's having a little bit overflow on a on a small screen okay here you can see we have a little bit of overflow so let's make it two and here you can see it's looking perfect so and our active state is also working fine you can see on click event we can easily able to change the state so it's looking perfect so this is looking good already good on a desktop everything is looking good so this one is fine and this data is already fine this we can easily able to choose the category we want okay and by the way so why this is not working royalty size so close this one and come back make a full screen and simply go to this jsx part and here we have this form so go to inside this social where we have all these three component okay i do understand what's the problem we have to change the style file name okay so simply copy this and simply change this select 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 and select 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 and change that okay replace this with form style and here you can see we have the style okay so it's looking perfect we are getting the style and we can simply type make a check on the mobile device it's already responsive okay it's already 100 percent responsive and taking place let's go on a small screen and this is how it will look on a smaller screen okay but we have one button we, but we need two buttons okay so simply come down in the button component and replicate this one okay and this time we'll call it preview let's call it preview okay so that's the button component we have here it's looking already much better so it's working fine all the effects are working fine all the components are perfectly aligned and responsive and the data are also looking fine now we have to work on the drop zone as well okay this is how it will look on a mobile phone, 100% responsive and on click event we can easily able to see data. Okay, this one is looking good. Now close this one and simply open the drop zone and we have to start working on it, okay? So first thing we have to do is to simply copy this and come back to the CSS file and let's target that. So we'll target the drop zone and let's make it side by side and So we'll say width is going to be 100%, margin block is going to be 3 RAM, and drop zone box is going to be, let's say, border 5 pixels, so 5, 6 pixels dot dot, and we'll have our icon color, okay? Save it, here you can see it's working fine. And we'll target that border radius is going to be 1 RAM, and we'll target text align is going to be a center, cursor pointer, Okay, the border radius is not taking place but you can see it's looking really much better and everything's working fine and here we have to do the changes not box sizing it's a border radius so simply change that to border radius and here you can see it's looking perfect and 
that's looking good take a padding to one ram and we'll come down we'll target the drop zone box input p and we'll say line height is going to be zero so that's looking awesome let's come down and we'll target the drop zone box input image image and we'll say border ready is going to be one ram but the image is not there so let's come here and go to the images folder actually what i have noticed that i haven't have the image in the image folder and that's why we are getting this broken image okay so first thing we have to do get the images okay so here you can see we are passing the exact data the image in the props and that's what we are receiving here in the and that's what we are trying to display in the component but we don't have the images okay so we don't have the images so let me copy that image from the project so i will simply open my project come back to this index.jsx i have already imported that okay so i will stop the video and i imported the video so i stopped the video and i copy the video and paste it inside this image folder and now i'm importing so i'll import the image i'll call it upload and that's coming from dot slash upload png okay so this folder this all the images would be provided to you in the article okay so make sure you get that folder starter folder from the articles from there you can easily able to have this all the images okay and now what i have to do is simply i have to export this so i can easily able to display and you can see here it's working fine the moment we have exported and provided that image it's displaying on the application so we can close this one and here i want to show you a small trick so if you want to turn it something lighter to dark or dark to light this is how you can do it okay and we're going to use it actually when we convert this into a dark mode or into a other color design okay because i'm i'm planning to create this close to five to six version of colors okay so right now you can see in a gray color we're going to have a dark we're going to have a yellowish we're going to have its reddish so the entire application will have in a multiple colors that's what we will do in the letter because we have to do a little bit of changes and the entire state of the application the color would be changed okay so here we're going to use this filter here we're going to use this filter and we're going to call it invert and the moment we call this function you can see the white image turn it to dark but for the time being, i'm just coming it out okay i leave it on you guys okay so that's what we have here now we can simply come down we're going to type with that drop box aside and actually we don't we can't see so let's come back here and go to this drop zone and here we have to turn it to let's say true okay provide this exclamation marks and here you can see the moment you save here we have the all the hidden block we have created and now we can start styling on it okay so let's come back and let's target that so first thing we want to do is padding is going to be 2 ram and let's come down we're gonna target the border it is going to be 3 pixels dotted and it's gonna have our icon color margin top is going to be 3 ram border radius 1 ram and we'll have the drop zone box a side box and it will have the display is going to be grid grid template column 1.5 and 4 for 4 rafa and gap is going to be 3 ram this is how it will look let's come down we're going to target the let's say we'll take the media query and on a max width is going to be 35 vm on the mobile device and we're going to say width is grid template is going to be 1 fr so that's how it will look okay we'll come here and we're going to target that aside box and we'll say preview p span font size is going to be 1.2 ram font width is going to be 700 and margin left is going to be 1 ram so you can see nice bold effect we have we'll come down we'll target that box preview this is going to be a one display is going to be flex and a line item center justify contain space between so that looks pretty good and it will have the font width is going to be 700 and it will have the font size 1.2 ram so that's how it will look okay and we'll come down we're going to target the box 3 and we'll say display is going to be grid and grid template column repeat 3 1 fr so that's how it will look on a desktop mode you can see it's looking beautiful it's looking beautiful okay it's already looking much better let's 
let's make on a mobile device and here we have to simply copy that and paste here and we're going to say that grid template column 1fr on a mobile device so that's how it will look on a mobile device okay now we can drag it that one and we'll say display is going to be grid it's also looking fine now let's have a look final time and things are looking much better close this one close this one and go to this drop zone and just turn it to normals okay and let's come here and let's test this if you click on this and select this author image and here you can see the dynamic block is open because we have something in that drop zone we have the images data okay so that's turn the div and if you come here if you type anything you can see the live update okay you can see the name of the nft dollar thousand nft you can provide the website name i'll call it dollar thousand.com and here i can provide the description simply copy that and paste it so here i have the description and here i can provide the royalty percentage and this is the file size and this is the let's call it best okay so all the data and right now you can see all the data we can able to see here this is the digital because right now we are selecting digital but if you click on this and here you can see it's a sports if you click on this it become arts if you click on this it will become music if you click so here we have this data let's change this data okay so let's come back here and let's scroll down we have to go back to upload nft and where we are rendering the data the category so where it is let's open that and here we have that professor professor simply change that and then that we're going to say element dot category here you can see we have all the categories sports are digital time and photography so if you click on this digital you will have this digital but you can see these the category and the data they are very close to each other so we have to provide some space between them okay so let's come back to the code and close this here and here simply copy that one and preview and simply come here and where it is where is that so here we have that margin left so let's change the value to margin to simply remove that one and say margin in line and this will become one ram so it will have some space you can see we have some nice space from these data okay looking fine okay this one is also working this one and reload the browser let's have a look one more time and everything's working fine if you click on this this pop-ups open and here we have that data we can type it whatever you want you can simply make it side by side it's 100% responsive for all the devices you can see images stretch a little bit we gotta fix that okay okay but it's looking much better now and this is the category section we have file size upload preview okay so things are looking much better let's reload the browser and let's have a look final time so this is the heading subheading this is the box you can click and you can upload the images you can simply update the data you can type the website if you have you can give the description simply copy and paste here you can see the data is here now you can simply select the category so sports if you want to select this art you can see art if you want to provide a royalty some cyber of discount you can do that here you can provide this size you can provide this properties so all the data is updating dynamically and all we have to do is to simply pass this data into the smart contract and the nft is ready okay so the details are already ready we have all we have to do is to pass this all data okay so things are looking pretty good and this is the upload section we have now you can reload the browser and it's working fine let's come back here close all the files and now we can simply upload this code to get up okay simply close all this open folder and stop the application from running and we have to delete this get folder delete this one delete this one and type get in it get add dot and now we have to come to get up and simply we have to create a new repository and this will call nft marketplace let's say upload nft hit enter and these are the command we have to initialize which you all already know simply copy that come back here copy paste copy paste and push all the code 
this will take a little bit time and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do so and if you're not following this entire playlist make sure you access this playlist because all the videos i will upload that will go inside this playlist and make sure you save these articles in this in your browser so because all the updates you will get in that article so make sure you should check all all the check every day that article because whatever project you once i will done once our tutorial i will done i will upload the code in that okay so make sure you always check that and simply clear that and come back here and enable the browser and here you can see we have that upload and that we have all the components all the file we have created okay so with this finally we have done with this entire upload nft page i hope you guys have found this valuable and you are enjoying this complete full stack nft marketplace project if you have any questions any suggestion do leave in the comment section do give your recommendations because we are building something amazing okay so if you have any idea do leave me so i can try to include in this project which will help you and it will help me more okay let's move to the next video and that we're going to build the other pages okay see you there